Well, welcome to my workshop. We're going to do, well, we're going to do Maya. I mean, obviously, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and we're going to do something with the do sack. And uh, we're going to do a couple of pieces um, from the part on the fencing from the bull. That's a guard. We're going to go through that in a second. So there's 12 pieces. We have a bit over half an hour, so that's three minutes per piece. So let's get, no, just kidding. We're not going to do all of the pieces because I think then people are just going to go home with like, yeah, you do stuff with Dusak and that's kind of all I remember. So I picked a couple of pieces that we're going to do. He already said, I'm going to make y'all's head explode, but I have, I have, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to feel pieces to, you know, have people left felt out. So I was like, I can't leave you out, but there's a point to the pieces we, I picked. So, um, basically maybe a couple of words on the treatise. He, like every part of the book covers one weapon and he usually goes about just first telling you about the stances, telling you about like the opponent, how is it divided, then telling you about some techniques and some who's and so on. And then he goes into the guards and tells you how to fence from specific guards. So there's a section on fencing from the bull. There's a section on fencing from the arc. There's a section on and so on and so forth. Um, for those that may not be as familiar with like, probably everybody is familiar with those stances and so on, but I'm still going to say it because yes, they kind of resemble the ones we know from the longsword or from other weapons, but he specifically says there's a reason why they're named differently because they may look pretty similar, but they are used differently. So just because it's the bull doesn't mean it's the same as the ox and the longsword because you qu fence quite differently from it. Okay. But now let's get, let's, let's get started kind of. Um, yeah, we're going to start with one simple, like not so simple piece where you kind of just, that we're going to just do as a drill so that we're going to flow through the left and the right ox and kind of have it, okay, how do I actually stand? First of all, put your left foot forward and then we're going to go into a light, nice slow Myra stance. Actually in the do suck, he's not quite as low as in the long sword, but we're usually not as low as we think we are. So just get yourself into a nice low stance and you're probably good. Um, right now we're starting with the left foot forward. Um, as soon as we've done one step, he usually stays with the right foot forward unless specifically stated. And if you look at the plates, usually left foot forward means like close distance, shortened cut, and so on, really short distance, okay? So if, if you're like at normal fencing distance where you can hit each other with the tip of your dusak, you're usually right foot forward. Okay, dusak, dusak up here, hand either here, somewhere in between here. You can, you see all of it on the plates. Like there's one plate where he says, and that's the, that's the bowl and his hand is up here. Another one, his hand is back there. So all of this is kind of okay-ish. Usually I, I, I leave it back here unless I'm doing techniques where you, for example, catch the opponent's blade up here and dive under it where this is obviously a very strong thing, but otherwise we can stay here. And from here now we can all do, by the way, once you fence, you take that hand back, obviously. I broke the microphone. I am so sorry. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna continue while, while I feel like a film star because he's not, oh, he's not prepping me back up. Okay, so we're back here. We do a step and simultaneously we hit. Take the hand to your front or back here on your hip, back here, whatever you feel like doing, just don't put it up here. So that's a, just the ball as a guard and a first step. If you now just cut through, you can kind of go into, yes, do an overthrow and you're back here. And this is now the other bull, bull on the left side. We're now with the right foot forward and we would stay here, okay? The whole drill, I'm just now going to, I'm going to present that to you with a partner, but um, yeah, you just, you just, um, you'll just do that one as a drill. Okay, I stay up here, uh, start up here in the bull, so does he. And um, in this one, he attacks me and I kind of 
mach mal ganz langsam Slow-Mo. This one you can do Slow-Mo because we're not using gravity. And while he does, I want to parry that. I, I jump well to my right side and hit towards his head. And he was probably going to move his weapon to where I just left. I cut through and go in here. Want to um, thrust him. He parries that one. And I use that to go with a middle strike towards this side and again try to try to thrust here, okay? Um, dann gehst du von oben rauf, ne? So I'll just do it, I'll show it again to you, just, you know, us two, and then you're going to repeat that as a drill. By the way, my English is still warming up, it's getting better. Okay. And from here, we pretend to do a, um, a push, so this one, but I just use that to cut myself off, okay? That's kind of how it's supposed to work. We're going to show it one more time, a bit faster, and then we are going to do this side as a drill. A bit faster. Hmm? I just a One more time, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, cool. So we start in the right bull. Everybody has sufficient space? Okay. You jump to your right and you parry the other blade and simultaneously try to hit the head. So there's a real threat for the other, uh, for your opponent. Go up here. Yes. And you cut through into the, into the other bull. And now you do um, a middle who with your outer flat. So, yes. Cut through into this bull. Pretend to thrust again. Now he's going to be on your, he's, he's parrying that to the, uh, from the up, uh, from above. Push away, cut, cut. Okay. This one is more to be, so we can, we have both stances in there, okay? Left and right one. Start again from the, Right one, and cut, cut through, overthrow, middle hoo of the flat, again, into the other ball, right, push him away, cut, cut. Yes, that is looking good. Willst du einmal rumgehen, während ich, I'm just going to, you know, do that like two or three more times, and Jörn is going to kind of go around and have a look at you and help you if you need help, okay? Start again in the bull. Okay, we need at least two feet apart. Okay, at least two feet apart. Nothing one foot apart. Okay, wonderful. And then we jump to the right. Cut through. Overthrow. Middle who? Ah, sorry. My own fault. Middle who? Stay with the right foot forward. Wow. I am so sorry. Didn't really. Start again. And start again. Step out to the right, overthrow, right foot stays forward, overthrow, push him away, and cut yourself off. Right. One more time. Start in the bull, and we parry, overthrow, do the middle who, overthrow, Push him away, cut ourselves off. Okay, now that we're familiar with those stances, for the next ones we will need a partner. So please partner up. The pieces are kind of um, separated in, in three blocks. He doesn't say that, but it's pretty obvious, obvious to me. The first four pieces of those 12 pieces Uh, cover situations where the other person is so nice as to attack you and you just react to that and actually you're the one that's hitting. The next four ones is the other, your opponent is not attacking you but is presenting you with a pretty easy way to get in there. So either he holds his weapon too high, too far to the out, or you see that he's prone to traveling after. So you can see that it's going to be easy to persuade him to do something that you can actually use. And the last four pieces 
is when the other person is not so nice, is not attacking you, is not really open, and you really have to actually take initiative and do something, which is you, you're going to attack him, usually starting with a feint, okay? So we're going to start with the first, first block. We're actually going to do three pieces from the first block because there's three basic ways that he presents to us to parry from the ball. And those three ways are, I'm just going to show them really quickly. You go into the arc, which is here, with a step forward, and you catch the other blade here. Then we have, you, pretty, looks pretty similar, but if you get an attack from here, you actually go into a thrust on the other side. Or, and we're going to start with the, with the last one I'm mentioning that right now, you go against, and now one thinks the other dusak. No, you go against the hand that's just as effective because it's holding the dusak, but it also hurts, okay? So, um, and you kind of see that, you see that quite often in the dusak that you're not going against the weapon, but you're just going against the wrist that's holding the weapon because it's so much more efficient, okay? And we're going to start with, the, with a piece that uh, features the la latest one. So we feature, we're looking at this parrying with a, with a strike to the other person's hand. So what I'm doing is I'm starting again here in the, uh, in the bull. And Jörn is attacking me on my left side, so he's giving me an, a right hoo. And what I'm doing, I'm coming from below against his wrist, wrist, his wrist here. And from here, just give him an, uh, a middle hoo from the other side, okay? And foot, ich bin so egal. So again, from below, and up here, in here, okay? Which leg is front for the right leg? one, I am so sorry. <laughs> it's always the right one, okay? Yeah. We start here. We start up here. We get the attack, we parry here. Obviously, you're not really hitting there, okay? Because even though it's a leather thing, it still hurts. We go around and hit the other person on, on the head with a middle hoo, okay? Let's start there with a partner. That's looking great. Let's gather up. Oh, well, no, you, you, you can stay where you are, but you all need to gather up here. <laughs> okay. Huh? Let's do the second one. It is so straightforward because we're just moving kind of from here with a step. We can do when we attacked on our right. So he's doing a left who. Maybe he's done something else before. We, but we don't need to do a fencing towards or anything. For whatever reason, he's giving me a left two from his perspective. On from, from my perspective, he's hitting me on my right. And what I'm doing is, genau, ruhig, uh, nicht so schnell damit ich. What I'm doing is I'm actually stepping in here and catching with the front of my blade. I have a, the right foot forward afterwards and catch him here. Okay. Um, so I'm stepping here, and then um, let's just do this one because actually it's so obvious that you can, for example, for, from here again, hit around or anything else, okay? For, for me, this is the more important part, the parrying. And as that is so simple, let's do the other one as well. If he's now not attacking to this side, but to, to, to my right, uh, to my left, so he's doing a right upper, uh, upper hoof from, of some kind. I want to go into a thrust, he sa uh, Maya says but I want to turn my long blade towards his hoo. So what I'm actually doing is I am going in here. Okay? And from this one, let's do a, let's do a follow up from this one because this is not as obvious because it's very unlikely that I can actually take that opening, okay? So what I'm doing from here is I'm hitting him from below, for example, here or here or even to the head. He's parrying that. And as it's from below, it go, he, his, his weapon goes slower and I go up here. So what we do is we get hit on our upper left opening. We turn our weapon to a thrust. He parries that. We go in for the, for the, um, for the elbow or for the head. His weapon has to parry low and we're using the head. Wonderful. Okay, so we're... As Maya always do, slowly opening, inc like increasing how big the openings are. And once we figure they're big enough for us, we're taking them, okay? So let's do both of them. First try this parrying in the arc, and then try parrying on the other side. It's actually the same thing, okay? 
it's just parrying with kind of a thrust-like situation with the long, long blade. And questions? Otherwise, we'll go around. Cool. Let's get around. We are like one third through, and I was just uh, told uh, we are two thirds over your time, our time. Björn? Björn? Björn. Okay. So, but we already have the first block done. The first block was, as I said, the other person is so nice to attack you. Now, in the next one, he's not attacking, but he's, for example, in the, in, in, in the, in the yak, but too far out, too high, too low, something like that. So it's not an opponent that attacks you, but it's an opponent that has, an, has a weakness that we can use. In the ones that we're going to do, the weakness is of a different kind. We, the weakness that we were presented with is we notice that the other person is very prone to just counter-attacking. So I'm triggering that, and that's, by the way, a trick he uses uh, quite often. Uh, we machen es einmal uh, in echt, den, den Drill Attacke uh, Parade. So maybe before we, we start into why that's a good find, go into the position. A very common like attack pattern is I attack him here and then he goes back and it's kind of a you know kind of a you can you can do this as a as a, as a drill. Um, the thing is you will notice, just try that out when, when it's your turn, that if you're in the arc and somebody hits you there, that is just so tempting, okay? Because it actually works really well too. But we're going to use that as a feint because we know he's, he's the kind of person that always wants to counter attack. So he's taking that, okay? And what we're doing is we're hitting the weak of his, of his dusak. And he is going to come around and we know that. And because we know that, we have wonderful, we have our, we once again have the attack we wanted, okay? He didn't want to attack us, we already knew he would counter attack. So what we wanted was an attack from here and we're going to instantly go against his hand here again, okay? So hit the weak, really just the weak, because we want, we want him to feel this, you know? He, he wants to come around and hit us. We don't want to hit him here where it's basically no impact and we have to be very, very close. So we're hitting the weak and go instantly around against his hand. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just, let's do the next one as well. So we're going to do the next step to this, to this piece, not the next piece. We're going to the next step to this piece in, in langsam. So we're attacking the weak of his dusak. We go around, attack his hand. And yes, he's probably going to parry that. And now we're going to do a left step. Now you're actually, we're all allowed to do left steps because from here, we want him, want to hit him with the short, with the shot, with the crooked edge, as Maya calls it in the dusak, on the head. And if he parries that, whoop, we can just take the left foot backwards and hit his head up, uh, up front, okay? So we're using, as I said, we're, we're usually only using the left foot if we want to get really close. And for this edge to hit, we need to be closer. So what we're doing is, one more time, very, very slowly, you hit the weak, you go around, hit the arm, he's parrying that. We're using the, the left foot to go forward. We retract the left foot and hit the head. That's the whole piece, okay? One more try from the other side around. So, he's not attacking, <laughs> don't like that. Hitting the weak, hitting the hand, he's parrying. I go in with the left foot and try to hit him with the, with the crooked edge, retract the left foot and hit him with the, on the head here. Okay? Come on, that one's fun, let's do this. Weitergehen, also das hätte er, glaube ich, gesagt. Ich würde halt einfach nur von hier wieder hier hin. So. Untenrum wäre deine Motivation reinzulaufen vielleicht zu groß. Genau, weil wenn ich jetzt hier runtergehe, wer weiß, was, was er sich jetzt ausdenkt. Und während wenn ich sage, okay, ich gehe halt hier rein und will dich so treffen, dann fühlt sich für mich jedenfalls. 
Um, I'm already, I think, a couple of minutes past my time, but we still have so much wonderful Maya to do. But we're not doing that right now because we're just, uh, we got just going to, are we even going to present the last piece? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I think we have hopefully one minute left for to to try to present one piece from the attacking side. So right now he's he's again in the arc and he's not very prone to that. So he kind of figured that's not really that I don't really mean that. So I actually have to go in. Dang it. That, that's the last four pieces are all I actually have to do something. I have to commit because this is still safe. This is a wonderful little, little faint. Okay. But now I actually have to do something. And what I do, I give him a really, really strong who from above and I really try to cut through to his head. Now he's going to parry that. And now we see something that people pretend Maya doesn't do. We see a lot of thrusting, which is why I chose this piece. So you kind of try to thrust him actually to the face, I'm not doing this right now, over his dusak, which he's going to parry, going up, then I'm hitting him on the same side, on the face, which he's probably going to parry, and then I'm trying to stab him again, thrust him again, and we, he's going to parry that one, and we see, wow, there's so much Bjorn on this side of the dusak. <laughs> I'm loving this. And so I'm going over his arm, and try to hit him here, which he's then again going to parry. But I wanted to show that to you. <laughs> I wanted to show that to you because it's, uh, I think it contains, first of all, one thing where you actually have to attack. So obviously there's also pieces where you actually have to attack. And you can see there's a lot of thrusting in the Dusak, which is maybe at first glance surprising because we don't really have a tip. And you can see this pattern I mean, maybe if you want to try it later on, I can still, you know, go around and help you, but the workshop is over after this. But you can see this, you can see this opening, like making the big opening bigger and bigger and bigger, you know, giving him another, we had this whole person, and another thrust and, you know, opening up your opponent more and more and more um, as a preparation for the opening that you're actually aiming for. Okay, so that was just for show because we don't really have time. It's a good thing I didn't do the other eight pieces, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for your attention, for being here, for, and uh, yeah, that was wonderful.